I wanted to do an assembly and disassembly video for the 1911. I realized that this is all over the internet. You can find this anywhere. But I thought I would add one for those who watch my channel. The 1911 is fairly simple to disassemble. The first thing you want to do is make sure there's no magazine. And that the firearm is clear. There's nothing in the chamber. To do this, it's very simple. This gun is easy to take apart and put back together. You have a barrel lug here. What the first thing you want to do is take your thumb and press down that on, on some of these old guns like mine. This is real easy. On the modern guns, sometimes you need a wrench because they made it. They're making that barrel tight. You turn it to that, it would be clockwise if you're looking at the barrel. Watch that. That has spring tension on it. Remove that and the spring. What you want to do is you want to line that up with this little notch right here. So line it up and reach back behind. See this? Pull the slide stop out. And then you just pull the pistol apart. Make sure the lug is down forward. Actually, you need to remove the barrel lug first. And disassembled. To reassemble, lug down, place the barrel through, recoil spring guide with this little curved section. That's where the barrel lays in it. So, what I do is I put my recoil spring in, it goes in on this model pistol, the recoil spring in goes only goes in one way, and that's it right there. Then what I do, excuse me because my hands are trembling, slide that forward. And you want that notch lining back up with this. Because you want the barrel lug to line up. Then basically all you're doing. And my barrel lug is trying to be a, a pain in the butt. But there we go. You might have to. And I need to check that. Yeah. Might have to play with it just a little bit to get it to come in right, but that goes through. And what I do, if you notice, it's not completely down. Just play around with it a little bit and it'll pop right down. Alright, then what I do, put the pistol forward, put your thumb safety on. You want your barrel lug on. It goes in one way. That way. And then you turn it that way. Take your plug. Be careful this is under spring tension. It will fly across the room. Now some of the Newer models, take the safety off, everything's cycling, trigger works fine, safety, grip safety works, that's how it's done. Some of the newer models, this barrel lug, 
you'll need a wrench for because they're too tight. Uh, there's a debate about that within the 1911 community. Some people now, you look, my slide doesn't have very much play in it at all. All right. The 1911 is a war pistol. That's what it is. It's meant to be slightly loose. The competition guns, they tighten them up because they're looking for accuracy. I don't want my everyday carry or my personal protection weapon to be so tight that I need a wrench to take it apart. Nowadays when they make them, they can uh, you can have that and reliability too. too. But this is an older pistol. It was made, I, I, I believe, in the early 80s. I've had it 30 or more years. It served me well. Uh, and it's a simple, easy pistol to take apart and put back together. Uh, and just a beautiful, in my opinion, work of art. And I love the thing. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.